Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at permaculturenews.org, the website for the Permaculture Research Institute. And they have a really helpful article on making microbes, fungal versus bacterial soil life. Now, it is these microorganisms in our soils that help break down nutrients and help them become bioavailable for plants' roots to uptake them. There are types of bacteria that can take nitrogen from the atmosphere and fix it into the soil for plants' such as legumes, peas and nuts, and some trees are legumes as well, like the locust tree. Bacteria in fungal need to have a little bit of a balance, though. Fungi, or fungus, is basically mushrooms, but most of the fungal life is below the surface of the soil or behind the trunk of the tree. Mushrooms are just the fruit of the f fungal life. But you need to have a balance between them. If you're growing annual crops and, or grain, you need about a 0 to 3 to 1 to 1 fungus to bacteria ratio. But if you're doing permaculture tree crops, they require a whole lot more fungus than bacteria, 10 to 1 to 50 to 1. And there are several reasons for that. Uh, but the main reason is fungus is better able to break down woody debris and material than bacteria is. They talk about how in deciduous forests or hardwood forests, there is a lot more bacteria than in fields, but in conifer forests, it's even more abundant, or evergreen forests. And they also talk in this article about how mineralization and mobilization balance is important, so it takes the nutrients and fixates them into the fungal life so they don't get leached away or washed away. And they talk about using a foliar sprayer, which means uh, spraying b beneficial bacteria onto the foliage of the plant. And it can help inoculate plants with that beneficial bacteria. There's also root soaking that they talk about. We're soaking the roots with beneficial bacteria. But where do you find this fungi and bacteria? Well, what they do, they go in the forest and they literally dig up some of the dirt. Some of the duff layer, as they call it. They are in Costa Rica, by the way, right by Virgin Rainforest. And they put a lot of this duff layer with some yucca flour or some green banana flour, some sort of feed for the fungi and bacteria, as well as sugar, because uh, molasses in this case, because it really helps feed bacterial life. And they talk about mixing it up, letting it sit for about a couple of days to about three weeks. And the longer you let it sit, the more it's better for root drenching than foliar spray. You want to do the foliar spray right away. They have some pretty good information here as well as references in this article. So I'm going to link to it in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.